The headline. A handful of people and certain political parties are trying to disintegrate Manipur, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam. And drivers unhappy over government's restriction of 24 ton weight per vehicle on Imphal Jury Road. Welcome to ISTV News, now the news in detail. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam has said that a handful of people and certain political parties are trying to disintegrate Manipur, where the people have been living together peacefully since time immemorial. Deputy Chief Minister said this at the flag hoisting ceremony of INC candidate of Kaching Assembly constituency, MLA Y. Surchandra at his residence at Kaching Turel Wangma. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi, MLA K. Megachandra, General Secretary of MPCC S. Manaubi, President of BCC Kaching K. S. S. Ibohal and many other party functionaries also attended the ceremony. Y. Surasandra said, Congress will surely defeat BJP and return to power once again. The remaining work of development would be completed successfully, he said. Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam said, BJP in association with the open enemy of Manipur, NSCN, IM, UNC and NPF is trying to destroy the integrity and unity of Manipur. BJP has not been able to give reply to the questions raised by Congress on the June 18th uprising, framework agreement and indefinite blockade. The Prime Minister of India shouldn't be Prime Minister of BJP only but should not forget that he is the Prime Minister of the whole of India. He expressed dissatisfaction over many points that the Prime Minister spoke about during his Imphal address. Prime Minister with you, Prime Minister with you. BJP can mean what can I do now? Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Don't have any couple of After all, he's the Prime Minister of this country. I agree with the Prime Minister with you now. No, 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 no. Chief Minister O. Ibobi said, Congress has been able to translate many of the points mentioned in the manifesto including power, health and road and communications. However, people of the state don't know properly what are in the vision document of BJP. If the people give Congress mandate this time again, the government will translate ILP into action, will continue to protect territorial integrity and take action against economic blockade, etc. Truckers lamented over government's restriction of weight to 24 metric tons on Imphal Ziri Highway due to the bad condition of Makru Bridge and Barak Bridge. With such restrictions, trucks with 10 or 12 wheels will have to drive back without any goods. A joint meeting including district administration, transport department and drivers was held till late yesterday and appealed to the authority concerned to reconsider the wet restriction for the time being for the already stranded goods laden vehicles at Jeribam. It was discussed that according to the wet restrictions, drivers will have to hire other vehicles to carry the extra weight. <laughs> ဟုတ်ကြီးတီခွေးနာစီကိမာလစီဟုတ်ကြီးဝေတ်ဟေလပ်ပုပ်ပြောပါနေနာဟုတ်ကြီးကိုက်တဲ့ထမရနေဟန
to discuss the situation about the stranded vehicles at Juribam due to the worsened condition of Barak Bridge and government's restrictions to carry only 24 tons of goods. Addressing the meeting, District Supply Officer W. Sham appealed to the drivers to follow the state government's order to carry only 24 tons of goods including the vehicles with once the Barak Bridge is fit for vehicles to move and to face the situation temporarily. He further urged the drivers to either hire vehicles to carry the extra weight or leave the goods to be carried afterward. National Vice President of All India Congress Committee Rahul Gandhi is arriving at Imphal tomorrow. All preparations for the election rally to be held at Hatta Kangjibung, where Rahul Gandhi will address, are over. Tight security measure has been taken up in and around Imphal city. Rahul Gandhi is expected to arrive at 2 p.m. and address the rally. MPCC is making all-out efforts to make the rally a grand success. Chief Minister O. Ibobi, along with Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam and some Emilies inspected the preparations at Hapta Kangjebung. Chief Minister O. Ibobi said at least 2 lakh people are expected to attend tomorrow's rally. Taramathoi Raksubha Manipur State Assembly election Siga Mari Lainana Manipur Gi Praja Singda Congress Party Na Haukiba Sahi Taram Mari Munga Manipur Gi Seba Taujarapa Masi Gi Matang Dasu Aduga Hoji Hoji Lairiba Koi Gi India Gi Hai Bitaare Lairiba Train Aduga Atai Atai Gi Maramda Development Gi Maramda Aduga Matang Da Lakadariba Manipur Gi Praja Singda Koi Party Da Amohana Thajava Thambidna Manipur Gi Amohana Seba Tauva Pangjarega Di Residents of Okram to take today's stage a sudden demonstration in protest against the explosion of bomb near the gate of N. Iboton last night and placing of another bomb. Protesters displayed various placards with different slogans. Speaking to media persons, Secretary of Chanura Singhi Aipa Thawang Loop and Bimola Devi condemned the act of the miscreants in the strongest term. She appealed to those concerned not to repeat such act in the congested areas in future. State President of BZYM Manipur Pradesh Pukrambam Somojit has alleged that Congress Party has carried out many violence-related incidents at different places knowing that they are going to lose in the ensuing elections. Speaking to media persons at the office of the party at Nitya Ipachute, Somozit further said, many people have been injured when Congress workers carried many violence in collaboration with the Manipur police at different constituencies in the state. Given an example, he said, yesterday's incidents at Kundrapam in Kundrapam Assembly constituency where a six-month-old minor child and his grandfather were injured clearly shows that what they are doing. Moreover, the duo who injured in the incident are undergoing treatment at Ras Medicity. On the other hand, National President of BJP Amit Shah is coming to Manipur for his two-day visit tomorrow for election campaigning of BJP. He will participate in different meetings to be held at different assembly constituencies in the state. Somojit added. Manipur is utilized to the board of the board of the board of the board of the board Equi Prazana, Matam Chana, the Kimatanshi, the Warukpa, Matam Yore, and at the same time, the appeal to the Nimbadi, Manipuri, policing the Su, Tungan Tungan Bakoyi, concerned authorities in departmental, a very vital in Oxing the Su, Lakadu is in an election to say free and fair, Oheni, Amaramaduna, Kanagi Su, Bais Laitava, Bounda, Equi Puna Tabuk Dominasi, Aduga, Manipuda, Aunda Manipurmo Porpa, the Koykoisu, Gisu Yari. A procession for Northeast India Development Party candidate Tongram Gopain was taken out at different places in Kairau Assembly constituency. The march of tribal communities commenced from Kairau Wangkim, passed through Langdum and converged at Thiam Konjin. 
co-convener of Social Development Committee, Kairao Kendra Tribal Wing, as Mokha Gopen is the person who has been struggling for unity of the people of both hills and valley. Proprietor of Sanabam Agro, Kageba condemned the restrictions imposed upon the company by the residents of the area against false charges. Speaking to media persons at his office at Yai School, Kagemba said, Sanbam Agro has been trying to provide irrigation at Vishnupur Topol Road. He condemned the act of believing the rumor of building a packaged drinking water industry in the area. He said, the company has been trying to increase the agricultural products and aims in building up proper canals, marketing and development of tourism. The undergoing project at Vishnupur is also to draw underground water and supply water to the fields. He clarified to the resident not to be scared of drought because of drawing underground water. If the residents are not willing to understand the project taken up by the company, he will take the help of law, he said. Meanwhile, he said, it is unfortunate that some vested interest persons are trying to label him and his company as antisocial elements. Imol Tribe Union has drawn the attention of authority concerned not to replace the IRB post at Ngairong village in Tenopal district by Manipur police in viewing the law and order situation in the area. Speaking to media persons at Kuki Inn, President of the Union R.T. Akhil Imol said, six innocent villagers had been killed by NSC and IM in different incidents. However, the villagers of the area could sleep well when after the IRB post was opened at the village. Recently, a team of about 50 fully equipped cadres of NSC and IM came at the village and threatened the villagers to cast their votes to NPF, he alleged. He further said, the union will not allow replacing the IRB post by Manipur police and the initiative taken up is highly condemnable and unacceptable. If the IRB post has been replaced by Manipur police, the untoward consequences will be responsible and borne by the Manipur government and DZP as well, he added. Chief Election Officer, Nodal Officer Kailun, Amadi DGP, Amadi Manipur Government, Masigat Hodok Sigat Dietis Mahone Pugatogun Haiwasi Hai. A five day short term course has begun at National Institute of Technology, Manipur, under the directive of Global Initiative of Academy Network on the topic Organic Synthesis Towards Greener Horizons, Challenges and COP, organized by National Institute of Technology, Manipur. Registrar of the Institute R.K. Lalit, Dean Dr. K.H. Manglem, Professor of I.I. Science Bangalore K.R. Prabhu, University of Hohenheim and Professor of German U. Beifus attended the inaugural function. In connection with the commencement of the course, Registrar R.K. Mani said, different methods will be used to develop the skill of the students during the course. This is the first time the NIT is organizing a short term course and will organize different courses in the future too. He added. The five-day second mixed media festival national art exhibition come workshop has begun from today at Silaipung near Laimakong Mapal Imphal East District. Managing Director of Thangjam Agro Industry, Thangjam Jay Kumar, Founder of Manipur Times, Jiten Nomaitem, Principal of Imphal Art College, Uai Navachandra, and Managing Director of Silaipung, Somaren Rokhudram were the main guests of the inaugural function. Many artists from Bangladesh, Lithuania, Rajasthan and Tripura are taking part in this exhibition. Different types of paintings are showcased in the exhibition. Secretary of Mixed Media Sana Jauba said, The main objective to organize the exhibition is to bring a change in the community of the artists in Manipur. Makaru Kagi, visible 
Flag hoisting ceremony of Muhammad Rajur Rahman, who is contesting in independent ticket in Kairau Assembly constituency, was held at his residence at Kairau Makting Mayailikai. Addressing the meeting, candidate Rajur Rahman said, All the candidates who were elected from this assembly constituency became ministers except for the sitting MLA, but the residents of the constituency depends upon Idle River for drinking water and no high quality schools in the constituency. He further added that he is contesting this election to take up developmental work on the sector for the public. Ex-Minister Lampolakwam Jantukumar has expressed that BJP and Congress need to be sincere about the details of framework agreement instead of just giving speech that the agreement does not affect Manipur. He said this during an election-related public meeting held at Kaisampat Yumjao Lairambi Community Hall. Jantukumar further added that if the Prime Minister fails to provide the details of framework agreement in written statement, it will be considered a fact and just a random talk. He appealed to the public to demand the Congress stand with regard to the framework agreement when the Vice President of the Indian National Congress, Rahul Gandhi, arrives at Imphal tomorrow. The time has come to teach them a lesson in the upcoming elections if they cannot be sincere about the framework agreement, he added. The 50th conference of CPI Sinjamai Local Council was held at the local office at Chingamathak Chongthamlikai. M. Tomba has been appointed as the local secretary for the next term. The conference took the decision to develop Singjamai Ketel, parking system for women vendors, proper drainage, construction of public toilet at an appropriate place, and try to help form LDF government instead of Congress or BJP government. Northeast India Development Party has opened its office brands at Karbialong district and has also elected its office bureaus. A political conference for BJP candidate Haikam Dingo of Sigma Assembly constituency was held at Kanlatombi Public Ground. MP Pralat Singh Patel and coordinator of Northeast Election Prasant Arora attended the conference organized by BJP Sigma Mandal. Spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh Nongthomam Biren blamed that the Congress is trying to break the bond of oneness between different communities living in the state. He alleged that the ambush on Chief Minister at Ukhul was nothing but a game played by the Congress in order to gain sympathy from the people. BJP will try to acknowledge the full identity of the Gurkha community, which has been in existence since the reign of the kings in Manipur, he added. Sukumba illegal labor, anti national labor, anti social diversity. We should deal with the iron and agro. Pralat Singh Patel expressed that if BJP forms the government in Manipur, the party will focus in the development of government schools and try to compete the private schools in Manipur. हम लोगों को अच्छी शिक्षा देना चाहते मुझे अभी बता रही थी कि यहां स्कूल है गवर्नमेंट की लेकिन गवर्नमेंट के स्कूल ही वो भी सरकार में ऐसे चले 325 स्कूल है उसमें 70 स्कूल में 10वीं में एक भी छात्र पास नहीं हुआ ऐसा इमोबी सिंह फेलियर सरकार है एक भी स्टूडेंट पास नहीं हुआ 10वीं में तो आप सबके बच्चे कहाँ जाते हैं प्राइवेट स्कूल में जाते हैं ना तो ये प्राइवेट स्कूल में जाना पड़ता है मैं शिक्षा मंत्री हूँ यहाँ एक हमारा शिक्षा मंत्री बनेगा हम दोनों मिलके ऐसा काम करेंगे कि सरकारी स्कूल भी 100 परसेंट रिजल्ट देगा अच्छा स्कूल बनाकर दिखाएंगे ये हम काम करके दिखाएंगे BJP candidate Nimai Chan Luang of Andhra Assembly constituency is the person who does not follow the rules and regulation of Election Commission of India, alleged Congress candidate T.S. Shyam Kumar of the same constituency. Speaking to media persons at his quarter at Kangla Park, he said he has passed the scrutiny after no errors were found while filing the nomination form issued by the ECI. 
He ridiculed the charges leveled against him as an outlawed person, saying that he would fight him in the court even though he has won the upcoming election. Sham Kumar said, no court in the world will accept Nimai Chan's plea. Instead, he wants him to withdraw from contesting the election and wait for him in the court. If he wants to know the details, then he can apply through RTI, but speaking without knowing law would not bring any benefit. He has no fear in fighting the election with a person who cannot win in his own constituency and coming to contest in under assembly constituency. I'm Kangdaba, Low Kangda Low Makuta Pine and Kanzaba. Shumay am the criminal number one, this is the much long name. My criminal in the Manipu, my criminal the high square. As a Mayamazo, Manipu Pazag, Miamda, and the appeal to Jerry Madudi, Shumba, Quiggy, Buttons and the party. Quayam Kakumne. Party is the Pazag, Pabato, okay, Pazan, people in Pazan, but Kanzaga and Kanzaga Dame, or Saka Panga Dame. Shumba party, ideological one with the Panganda Nangba, see, I excited eight thousand. The Yam Mamutsa Kangangan Yumsumna, Kangakanda, a saying by evidence, concrete, prima fisi, if it can put the report to Aduka Hining. Mangara Bosi, Karamaga, and the report Kala Trebese. She see, Quiggy Pazan Yadra, reject or rubber. Magi public reject or me never. She will miss Andro Kendala Akanda, and Mark Kigabus Lady. Ado mungkin dia ini masing si, ado kita tak heh nama hati kita tentang si, kau gigi, mana si ni masih luang si perjalanan jadi berkriminal, mana yang hebat si, anda antruk ini perjalanan, macam ceng na, election kita dia elemen ini pun terima tu kerja, jenis macam macam, kangen ganeh. Three day training on poultry farming was launched from today at Central Agricultural University. The training was organized by Directorate of Extension Education at the Assembly Hall of the University. Directorate of Veterinary Dr H Chauba. Research Director of the University, Dr. C. A. Srinivasu Murthy, Director of the Extension, Dr. S. S. Nagra, and Dean, Dr. N. Iboton attended the function. Around 50 farmers from different KVK are taking the advantage of the training program. A meeting of the farmers and eminent personalities to discuss the usefulness of medicinal plants was held at the conference hall of State Guest House, Sanjang Tong. Member Secretary of the Board Dr. A. Guneshwar and President of Manipur Trained Medicinal and Aromatic Plants Promoters Consortium T.P. Devkanta attended the meeting organized jointly by Horticulture Department, Manipur State Medicinal Plant Board and IUS Directorate. Member Secretary A. Guneshwar said there are more than 560 medicinal plants in Manipur. Some plants cannot be transferred from one place to another. Officer in charge of Mission for Integrated Development of Horticulture, Horticulture Department, K. Jogesh Chandra Express, apprehension of extinction of one part out of three parts of medicinal plants grown in the forest. 95% of extracts are taken from the plants to prepare IUS medicines worldwide, but since 90% of the plants are found in the forest, some are damaged while collecting for preparations. As a result, the Horticulture Department has been taking up measures to grow medicinal plants under National IOS mission, he said. And now the headlines once again. A handful of people and certain political parties are trying to disintegrate Manipur, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam. And drivers unhappy over government's restriction of 24 ton wet per vehicle on Imphal Ziri Road. That's all for now and keep watching ISTV News updates and thanks for being with us.